Yo, what is going on, guys? That was too loud. Yo, what is going on, guys? That one sounded way better. Yes, sir. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Danger, coming at you with another Madden 20 video. And hopefully you guys are having an awesome Friday night. Um, I am having a stream start up probably within the next hour. So stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, guys, uh, hit that like button if you enjoy. And hit that sub button. Like I say every video, we're trying to hit 1.6K subs before the end of january so if we can do that that would be awesome um now this video is going to be like kind of a coin making method um kind of investments or kind of what to do uh i, I kind of call it a method um but before we get into that let me just say one thing just in case um anyone has any of these cards i don't want you to get screwed um if you have any series read the are like limited time cards from this series sell it right now just sell it because when the series ends I, i'm thinking next friday it's gonna end or this coming up friday maybe um those cards are gonna drop in price by a ton so if you have any series like or like any limited times from this series sell it just sell it right now um i'm mean, play your weekend league first if you need them for that and then sell it um because the prices will drop dramatically um as you see i'm a 90 overall right now i was a 91 um, for the theme team, but I actually sold my Anthony Harris. Um, let's see if we can find him. I sold him for a lot. Yeah, see, I sold him for 660,000 coins um, right now, which is a ton because when he comes out, he's going to be like 300,000 coins or less. I could probably get him for like 300,000, so I'll make 300,000. So, number one, it's not really, I mean, if you don't know it, do it. Sell any of those cards that you have, um, any limited times from the series. Just because they're going to drop in price dramatically. And I don't want you guys losing a ton of coins. Um, now, let's get into the actual coin making method. Or like investments or prediction kind of thing. So, obviously, this weekend is um, the NFC and AFC Championship uh, tomorrow. Which, obviously, we'll figure out who's going to be in the Super Bowl. You know? Um, so, what you guys want to do to prepare for the Super Bowl promo is as soon as those games are over as or if like one of them's a blowout and you know who's gonna win you're gonna want to go pick up some players to invest in now let's say for example the packers win okay let's say the packers are gonna win there's gonna be a whole super bowl promo now last year what they did they dropped a ton of cards during it like i remember if you guys remember there was a jerry goff there was a t basically almost everyone on the team got an upgrade um but, for example, let's say the Packers are just destroying the 49ers. It's like the third quarter. They're up by like 20-something. You already know they're going to win. What I would do if I were you, I would hop. Where, why can't I find the Packers? Um, okay, they're right there. What I would do, honestly, is, you know, let's see. So, obviously, I you'll want to pick up players that are probably going to get an upgrade. Now, let's say the Packers win. I don't know. Does Aaron Rodgers have... What's Aaron Rodgers' best card? Like, I'm trying to think of an example. I think Aaron Rodgers would be a really good example. Um, yeah. So, obviously, he's only at his best card to 92 overall. Uh, so, if they end up going to the Super Bowl, invest into Aaron Rodgers. You could almost do it before um, before it gets um, to the game. You could do all four teams and then just sell the stuff from the other teams. Um, but if you want to play more safe... You could buy them as soon as you figure out who wins. Like, honestly, if the Packers win, I'm probably going to end up picking up probably a couple of the power-ups. Probably pick up a few of these 91s and probably these 92s. As you see, my coins are super low. I have a ton of cards to sell. Um, but you'll want to pick up players like this. So Aaron Rodgers is probably number one who you would want to pick up um, for the Packers. But you'll just have to go through the teams. Uh, the running backs might get an upgrade um let's see like aaron jones might be a good card to pick up you could pick yourself up an aaron jones you know if he's in a super Bowl, most likely he's gonna get a power up um well not power but an upgraded card but you can just go through figure out the teams i figured aaron Rodgers, mostly skilled positions but there are gonna be some linemen too they'll probably they'll give all the linemen probably an upgrade too but like skill positions like quarterback wide receivers Cards people are going to want. People are going to want an Aaron Rodgers card. So that's why I would pick that. Aaron Jones, if there's a big Packers fan, they, they'll probably want to pick him up. Um, if we go to the 49ers, um, like if we look at uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, 
Let's see. What is his best card? Does he even? I don't even think. Does he have a power up? He doesn't. He actually doesn't. But it's okay because he he. I feel like did they release the power ups for next year? I don't know if they did. But I have a feeling Jimmy Garoppolo is gonna probably get one for next series. So you might want to invest in some of these cards. Just pick them up if they're winning. Um, I don't think George Kittle. No, he just got a card. He just. He just got a card, so I don't see them giving him another card at the moment. Um, I'm trying to think who who would get a card. Oh, ah, but he doesn't have a power up. That's the thing. You gotta stop and think like who has a power up in like you know. That's a big thing. If they get a power up next series, um, Debo Sandal or Debo Samuel, he might get one. Um, it's just you gotta you gotta invest in quite a few of them um, because some of them might not pan out, some of them might not get a card. But I don't really know the forty Richard Sherman. No, he just got a card. I'm trying to think for the 49ers, It's kind of hard for me to think of someone who might just he might zero chill limited time. I don't see it though. I honestly don't see it. Um, I don't see it. The Chiefs now because the Chiefs are playing. Um. You know, Patrick Mahomes, possibly. Tyreek, actually Tyreek. No, didn't Tyreek Hill just get a team of the year card? It's terrible because I play Vikings theme team. And I don't really know, like, who gets cards because I don't pay attention. No, he didn't get a team of the year card. So Tyreek Hill, if the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, Tyreek Hill might be someone you want to invest in heavy because, obviously, he's, like, a fan favorite. Everyone's going to want him. Um, so if they make it, I honestly will probably p end up picking up a couple of these uh, Team of the Week cards, a couple of his power-ups too, um, because I'm pretty sure the Super Bowl is going to be like a 95 overall, like the Super Bowl promo, probably higher, probably almost 98, 97s, I'm guessing um, around there. Somewhere around that is probably where it's going to be, 95s, 97s. Um, and honestly, if Tyree Kill gets like a 98 overall card... Everybody is gonna want Tyree Kill, right? Uh, Mark Marcus Peters might be someone too. Um, has it been confirmed like what the power ups are for next series? I don't know. That's the thing. I should pay attention. Um, I don't think they are. Um, but you'll definitely just want to pick up players that everyone's gonna want because the Super Bowl promo, everyone's gonna get new cards. New cards. Um, it's just if if if, it, if it's like last year, if you guys remember the promo from last year. Um, Everyone got a ton of cards. Like, everybody was getting... Basically, almost everyone on the team, like the Patriots and the Rams, got an upgrade. Um, but, you know, you're going to want to pick the players that are skilled. Ryan Tannehill, possibly. Uh, no, he got a 93. But, I mean, if it's going up to 97s, he might get one. Um, you know, Derrick Henry. But did they give that man a card late? Why hasn't he got a card is my question. Or did he? Derrick Henry's probably someone that I'm going to be looking at too. Because he is, if they win, if they're winning, definitely going to pick him up. Because he is going to be going for a ton, man. I already know it. Um, but that's just some advice. Like, if you're watching the games and you see that team's getting blown out or winning. Or you figure out who's going to win. Um, I would hop on. Buy some of those skilled players at their positions. Because obviously... Both teams are in the Super Bowl. They're going to get huge upgrades, and you're going to want to, like, cash in on those investments, which Tyree Kill is probably going to be number one. If the Chiefs win, I'm going to load up on a ton of Tyree Kill cards because I can see him getting a limited time or, you know, maybe a Masters or something. Um, same for, like, when they're in the Super Bowl because some if, if you guys open the bundle that they gave us on New Year's Eve, um, you got this collectible. Where is it? And this, it's going to be the first 99 overall. Um, so, like, say the Chiefs go, Tyreek Hill has, like, 160 yards, two touchdowns or something. He's probably going to win MVP. Um, or, you know, Patrick Mahomes. And that will be the first 99 overall in the game. And if it's a power-up, people are going to want it. So that's just a little tips that I had, guys. Let me know if, you know, if you think that's smart. I think it's smart. I'm going to be doing it. Um, so hopefully it is. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it helps some of you guys figure out how to invest. But like I said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that sub button, uh, drop a like, leave a comment down below. Um, 
I'll try to get more coin making tips right now. But obviously, as you see, my coins are super low. I have like 190 elites to sell. So that's going to be an awesome experience selling those cards. But I'll get it done um, like I did, like I said before. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And peace. I am out.